Hey, what's up? It's Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. This is where it's the fighting words. In this video, I want to talk about Canelo Alvarez and what I think is an atrocity, <laughs> if this is true. Uh, the rumor mill has it that Canelo, and I've you noticed I'm jumping right into this. The rumor mill has it that Canelo will be taking on Jamal Charlo, the brother of Jamel Charlo, um, for his next up and coming bout. Now, it, what's interesting is he said when he was beat Charlo's brother, Jamel, he said, uh, you know, he was done with the Charlos. Maybe, you know, because Jamel didn't put on any type of show that. Canelo didn't see any reason, like, why would I even delve back into this Charlo name? Which is fair. Why would you? You know, they're twins, and, you know, it's true. However, um, I've always said that Jamal Charlo is the better of the twins. I've always said that Jamal, Jamal is the faster, the stronger, and the more versatile of the two. Jamal gets his praise from the knockouts. But if you ask me, Jamal is a better all-around skillful fighter slash athlete. So initially, I'm like, you know what? This is overdue, so I'm not mad at it. But I am mad at it, and I'll tell you why. Why do I think this is a duck? Why do I think this is a bad matchup? Why do I think, you know, this is all money? Why do I think this is Canelo playing it safe? Um, Jamal Charlo was off for over two years. Comes back, misses weight, fights a guy who has one leg, can't get him out of there. And now he's going to fight Canelo Alvarez. I want you all that to just soak in right now. Off over two years. Comes back, misses weight by a few pounds. Not like a pound or two. Not like, you know, you're, you're a pound over. No, 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 no. A few pounds. All right. Then he's matched against a guy who we all expect him to beat. He should beat. There should be no issues why he can't beat him. He looks amazing why he beats him, but then again, we all expected him to. Okay, the problem with that guy was that guy had one leg. That's the problem with that guy. Okay, so he can't even get that guy out of there. He gave him a beating, but he couldn't get him out of there. And now he's going to fight probably the most active fighter there is, hands down, and the most... One of the most skilled and, you know, uh, a one-in-a-lifetime type of fighter. You know, they only come around every once in a blue moon. And I think Canelo is one of those guys. You know, whether or not you believe, you know, he, some of his fights are questionable, you know. Yeah, he has losses, but he's still a once-in-a-lifetime type of guy. I, I don't think you see a Canelo Alvarez every day. Um, yeah, I personally think he lost to Triple G, the first fight. I think he lost to Lar. I think he lost to, well, I don't think, he lost to Floyd Mayweather as well. So that's three losses right there. Um, oh, the Richard Bivol, that's four losses. <laughs> okay, so that's being said, but look who he, you know, look who he lost to he, on paper. Dimitri Bivol, the guy who has like 300 fights, and Floyd Mayweather. In my opinion, the best fighter in the last 40, 50 years. So there you go. I, I, I think he still is a, is a great talent, Canelo Alvarez. But my issue is this. I don't, I'm not mad that you're fighting Charlo. I'm just mad that you're fighting Charlo now. That's what I don't like. This is what I hate about boxing. This is not right, okay? You're going to... The same reason that Charlo fought Benavidez, knowing he has one leg, Okay, so this, they fed Benavidez to Charlo. And Charlo, because of the money, okay, is willing to be fed. I don't know, I don't even, I take that back. I don't think he's willing to be fed. I think Charlo volunteered to be fed for the money. That's my issue. That's my issue. These fights are not competitive. That's not a competitive fight. Now, Charlo gets about two, two more fights under his belt. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. You have guys who have deserved this fight for a long time. Charlo would have been one of them if he wasn't gone for two years. He would have been one of them. But you've been gone for two years. Benavidez deserves this fight. And unfortunately, he's not going to get it because he wasn't gone for two years. Unfortunately, he's not going to get it because he didn't miss weight. 
Unfortunately, he's not going to get it because he didn't fight a one-legged fighter that he couldn't get out the out of the ring. So, unfortunately, he's not going to get the fight, okay? But we give it to Charlo. We give it to Charlo. First, Canelo said he wouldn't fight another Charlo. That's what you said. I'm just holding you to what you said, Canelo. You said you wouldn't fight another Charlo. Now you're fighting another Charlo. Um, there's a lot more competitive fights out there. You could do a rematch with Dimitri Vival if you wanted to. You know, obviously, they got us... They're signed and sealed with uh, Arthur Paterbia. But nonetheless, you're Canelo Alvarez. You can make a call and probably switch that around if you wanted to. But instead, what do we do? We fight the guy that we know we can beat. That's boxing people. That's marketing people. That's all about the dollars, people, because they know that you and I are going to pay for it. Well, I'm not going to pay for it, but they know you're going to pay for it. <laughs> so they, they know you're going to pay for it. And they're going to say, Oh, Charlo came back and look what he did to, to Benavidez. Yeah, he did what he was supposed to do to Benavidez. Was that a shocker to you? Because it wasn't a shocker to me. Even with two years off, it wasn't a shocker to me. So was it a shocker to you? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. What was a shocker is that he couldn't get him out of there. That, that was a shocker. What was a shocker is that uh, Charlo couldn't make weight. That was a shocker. This, this is what I do not like about boxing. I, I just think... Canelo is definitely taking easy routes. Here's the thing. When Canelo fought Jermel Charlo, I could easily make an argument for it. Why? He was undisputed champ. Why? He's a knockout artist. That's why I can make an argument for it. I can make a solid round argument for it. I can't make a solid round argument for Canelo versus Jamal Charlo because Jamal was gone for two freaking years. So I can't make a solid argument around it. Also, of the two brothers, Jamal is not the knockout artist. So I can't make an argument about it. But if he was, he didn't get a knockout in his last fight. I can't make an, uh, an argument about it. It wasn't like he had fight of the year in his last fight in over two years. So I can't make an argument about it. That's the problem. If I could easily make an argument, I would surely make it right now. But I can't make an argument. And that's what's bothering me. That's what I don't like about boxing. At least sometimes you can say, well, I can understand this or, well, I can understand that. You know, but I, in this scenario, I can't understand this and I can't make logical sense about it. So it, it's harder. If Listen, if Canelo wants to take an easier route or, uh, well, if Canelo wants to take a, a less dangerous route, I'm not going to say it's an easier route. You got Terrence Crawford right there. Terrence Crawford just fought at 147 pounds. <laughs> That's an easier route. I mean, it's it's a. I'm not gonna say it's an easier route. You know, Terrence Crawford, Crawford's never lost. Terrence Crawford, undisputed. So he's of your caliber. Again, I can make an argument for this. It's all about making an argument. If I can make an argument, I'll make it. Terrence Crawford, undisputed. Terrence Crawford, undefeated. Terrence Crawford, knockout artist. I can make an argument. The same thing I did with Jamel Charlo. That's why I said, you know what? Jamel Charlo has a chance of winning this fight. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm not going to lie to anybody. Jamal Charlo has no chance of winning this fight. Not because he's not skilled. Not because, you know, he, he doesn't possess what it takes to beat Canelo Alvarez. Because they're both men. So anybody can lose on any given night. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is he needs rounds under his belt, period. He needs rounds under his belt. He is extremely rusty, okay? He's rusty. That's just, it is what it is. He's rusty. Look at what you did in your last fight. Did you do a good job? Sure, you did a good job. But was it fight of the year? Absolutely not. Could you get your guy out of there? Absolutely not. I'm, I'm sorry. No. Listen, if, if we're going to take on fights that we think are easy are easy and, you know, presumably winnable, at least make them compelling. Make them compelling. It's compelling when we get undisputed champs, champs going up and wait. Jamel Charlo, uh, Terrence Boyd Crawford. It's compelling. This is not compelling. There's no storyline. I suppose they're going to spin it like, oh, he beat my brother and now I'm pissed off. I suppose they're going to spin it like that when all honesty, your brother quit. So it wasn't like he beat your brother, your brother quit. You know what I'm saying? So if anything, you should be more embarrassed 
and be looking to beat up your brother because you just tarnished a Charlo name versus Canelo Alvarez. So you really can't spin it like that. <laughs> you really can't spin it like that. Listen, I understand marketing and I get it. I, I totally get it. But it's going to be interesting to see how they spin this one. It's going to be real interesting to see how they spin this one because what are you going to say? He beat my brother and I'm mad about it. You know, he ducked me for years, which is why I didn't fight for two years. What, what are you, how are you going to spin this? I, I am dying to see the, 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 uh, the, 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 the marketing and the storyline for this fight. Because how are you going to spin it? You can't spin it any other way than what I just said, which is, I guess, you know, you beat my brother and I'm mad, you know, and I'm coming to get this and I, I don't care about the belt. I'm just doing it for the last name or whatever. You're going to spin it like that? Spin it like that. But I suppose you need to beat up your brother as well because your brother didn't give two spits about the last name when he quit. It's, it's as simple as that. You can get two spits about the last name and then went into hiding. You know, like, Canelo could have fought Tim Zhu. There's people for him to fight. Like, there's people for him to fight. Like, come on. There's people for him to fight. If if we're just doing it like that, there's people for him to fight. Do a killer plant, you know, rematch. There's people for him to fight. I, like I said, I've, I've pretty much given up on saying Benavidez's name in the same sentence with Canelo Alvarez, knowing all well that it will never happen. Why am I saying it? I'm not going to say it anymore. Uh, but this is not right. This is what I do not like about boxing. I am annoyed at this fight. Um, I'm annoyed at the person who presented it. I'm annoyed at Canelo for taking it. And it doesn't show a champion. It shows a coward. And that's what this fight says. The, the storyline for this this fight is going to be, I'm a coward. <laughs> like, like, that's what it's going to be. I'm a coward. I got people over there who've been dying to fight me, but I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to fight this guy because I'm a coward. And then Jamal Charles is going to be over there like, yep, Chiching. His new name is Chiching. His name is Coward and his name is Chiching. So those two are going to show up and they're going to fight. And we, they expect us to buy this fight. That's what they're going to expect us to do. I will not be buying it. I will not be. I'll report on it, but I will not be buying it because this is what I don't like about boxing. Drop your thoughts down below. If this is true, not cool. But drop your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And as always, please like, please share, please subscribe to this channel.